Hi there, welcome back. Again, I'm Tom Field with Information Security Media Group, and you're here for one of the cybersecurity leadership profiles that we conduct. Today, I'm really pleased to welcome to the studio Sawan Joshi. He's the head of information security with Firstport. Sawan, thank you so much for taking time to speak with me here today. My pleasure. So talk to me first. Tell me a bit about your current role and your responsibilities at Firstport, please. Sure, thank you, Tom. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, my, my current role head as head of information security for Firstport is uh, to really join them on their journey and, and assist them on their journey to achieve their strategic goals. Firstport is the UK's uh, um, biggest property management company. And our goal is to become UK's favorite. And we're going to do that by growing new business and uh, acquisitions. So as a head of information security, what would you describe as your top three priorities? First one is going to be to make sure that security isn't just a concern on every board's table. It's uh, something that's going to be seen as business, a key input to business enablement. It's got to help us grow. And that's reputational. So, so the security function has got to have a reputation that goes with it. And it's got to be something that people look to say that we must involve. That's going to help us grow. Second one, to protect our, to protect our people inside and outside the workplace. You know, it's not just about what they do internally that and, and their protection becomes the side effect, the byproduct, the byproduct of protecting them. It, it's a it's a it's a national issue, you know, so or international issue. So the reality is protecting our people and keeping them feel and if they feel protected, then they're always going to focus on what's in front of them, which is the work that they need to do. I, I like to say that two minutes of education regularly can empower four thousand people in our case to protect the organization. So those are your priorities. What would you say have been your biggest accomplishments in this role? Building a strong cyber capability into one of UK's fastest, oh, sorry, in this role, you said? Yes. Or overall? Okay, in this role, build, building a cybersecurity capability that's scalable and easy to implement across these acquisitions. All right, now I'm going to ask you, You've got a variety of skills, a diverse background in the role as head of information security, essentially a CISO. What are the most important skills that you draw upon on a regular basis? Establishing stakeholder buy-in. Absolutely, absolutely fundamental. Security isn't just something we do just for the sake of it. We, we, we have to have people buy into it and believe in it help people have got to really become strong partners to become a partner of the business to become a partner of all the stakeholders and uh, help them with their risks and their processes collaboration is another step further from that so these are the key things collaborate and trust and gain trust so someone you know i get a chance to talk to lots of security leaders and we talk about skills and roles and responsibilities but the real fun is when we get to talk about the things that individuals are passionate about. I want to talk about some of yours. I want to start with education. I know that you're passionate about your own ongoing education. You just spent time before we sat down here telling me about your latest accomplishment. What are you focused on learning right now, right in front of you? And how does this make you a better leader? I think... Uh... Well, currently, I'm 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 focused on learning. Yeah, and you're right. You know, I've just uh, I've just had some wins, and I'm looking for my next ones already. I mean, there's no time to rest, right? It's an evolving threat landscape, so there's so much to learn. Gartner says that uh, Gartner report says that APIs are going to become the biggest threat vector in the next coming years. So I'm focused on uh, on that area. So talking about education, as it is, I currently have a few things on my list. One of them is. Um, an NCSC cyber incident response training and certification program, a MuleSoft architecture qualification, and lastly, the Microsoft cloud security ones. These are all key. And I believe that these are necessary in order to demonstrate that you're always the most relevant conversationalist in the room about the subject that you're talking about when it comes down to security and privacy. I like that, the most relevant conversationalist in the room. So when you also have a big passion for people, you enjoy coaching and mentoring. For you, what is the draw and what do you bring to these tasks of coaching and mentoring? Incredibly fulfilling. You know, 
it helps change lives. Showing people what's possible by what you've learned from your own experiences. I feel that, you know, my, for, my, my formal experiences that I've had, these, and, and, and what's worked for me, sharing that with other people, it, it changes lives, it creates roles, it creates careers for people. And I think it's fantastic to give back something that uh, you've managed to achieve over time. One of the other areas you're passionate about, you've spoken to me about, is adaptability. You value the ability to adapt the technology to meet the needs of the business. Now, that sounds simple enough, but I know it's not that easy. So please explain adaptability. A long time ago, in the 2009 financial crisis, I joined a company that had a plan to uh, consolidate some acquisitions. I was in a room and I was surrounded by some people and I felt at that time, very early in my career, that I may be uh, in a room above my weight. But I proposed a suggestion to use virtualization and replication technologies to uh, consolidate those offices and actually improve capability and resilience, lowering CapEx and any other costs associated. Everybody bought in and it was the start of the me believing in technology that would actually become a business enabler. So for me to do the same over the past 15 years has absolutely continuously proven its worth. It's technology that we're gonna be able to leverage to actually uh, adapt to the business's needs, its way of working, its processes, and continue to uh, win, 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 our, win our goals. So and one other area I want to talk with you about is collaboration and communication. Now, you're involved with our forum, the Cyber Ed Board. I know you've been involved with other forums. For you, what is the value as a security leader of collaborating and communicating via such a forum as Cyber Ed Board? You know, with all of the work that we all do, our industry, you know, like any other industries, really busy, comes with its pressures, and people don't have time to do things outside of the circles of their day job and the work that they do. But the Cyber Ed Board brings everything together. It brings communities together. It brings trusted professionals in the industry together. It brings a platform to collaborate, brainstorm, and share education and the material together. Also, again, using technology that's available to bring that right down to the hands of our uh, ourselves while we're working in our mobile phones, through the app, through uh, our laptops. It makes it easy to do all of these things and uh, without sales. I think it's fantastic. It, uh, it brings confidence. It, it, it empowers people. And, you know, it's very, it's very high pressure area, our whole information security remit. So the Cyber Ed Board is, is, is a big pool of knowledge that, uh, you know, it's, it's really, really needed. And at a time when we can't travel to sit down together and have this conversation in one room, it's nice to be able to connect, isn't it? Definitely. Absolutely. So I want to thanks so much for taking time to speak with me today. Really grateful. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Again, you just heard from Sawan Joshi, the head of information security with First Port. For Information Security Media Group, I'm Tom Field. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to us here today.